Once the Prophet peace be upon him, on his trip or journey to the ascension, Al-Mi'raj, he saw the angel of death. He asked him, oh angel of death, how do you, how do you take the souls of people? And the angel of death describes how he takes the soul. He says, I have a list, a long list. And the names of all people are mentioned in this list. When the time for one of those human beings comes up, expires, I see that the name of this person is erased from the list. I realize that the time has come. I have to now take the soul. So I simply command the soul to come to me, and the soul comes. That's how. And then he explains to the Prophet, he says, the world is like a coin in my hand. You take a coin, you know you, how you flip the coin in the palm, of your hand, the angel of death says, the entire world is simply like a coin in my hand. One hadith says like a tablet which has light that I look in the palm of my hand. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows me where I need to go to take that soul. And then the angel of death in this hadith, he tells the Prophet peace be upon him, and I visit every house five times a day. Do you know that our homes are visited by the angel of death five times a day? One hadith explains what times? During the times of salah, between 6 and 7 a.m. Every day the angel of death is visiting you. 1.30 p.m. The angel of death is visiting you. At sunset, he's visiting our homes and he's monitoring our activities. That's why the angel of death, when he takes our souls, he knows us very well. For some of us, when he takes our souls, he takes our souls with so much excitement. He is also yearning to meet us because he remembers for 50, 60 years, every time I visited this person, he was either being gentle with his family, he was either praying, reciting the Qur'an, he's, he was working hard to make a lawful living for his family, respecting his parents. He remembers all those visits. And then for some of us, he despises to meet us, God forbid. Because he remembers that every time he came to visit us, we, either, we were either listening to something that's haram, seeing something that's haram, saying something that's haram. He sees 60 years of a sinful life. And when that happens, the punishment becomes very severe. And he takes the soul in a very painful way. The Imam salam says, the most traumatizing moment for such people is the moment when their soul is separated from their body. Because they're so attached to their bodily desires. They can't function without this physical body. For them it's very traumatizing and very difficult. But for the believers, you know what the Holy Prophet peace be upon him says? He says for the believer, for the true mu'min, the angel of death will come to him like an obedient, humble slave. He will stand by you like a slave. This angel of God will act as a servant for you. The Prophet peace be upon him says, then he will give you the good news that you will be in paradise. Once the Prophet peace be upon him, he went to visit one of his companions, one of the Ansar, as he was about to die. The Prophet peace be upon him saw the angel of death. He came to visit this man to take his soul. The Prophet peace be upon him told the angel of death, this man is one of my companions. He's a good companion. Please be gentle with him. You know what the angel of death told, to the, told the Holy Prophet peace be upon him? The angel of death said, Ya Rasulallah, Trust me, I guarantee you that I will be more gentle with him than his own parents. That's how the angel of death will treat the believers, brothers and sisters.